I've been discussing the really interesting concept of letting go with my friend James Raff, the poet introduced earlier. James reminded me of the provocative literary idiom, kill your darlings. At first hearing, it's a little creepy, but it's good advice and you won't ever forget it. For writers, it means letting go of that word, sentence, paragraph that's so beautiful but does not serve the greater purpose. It's applicable to all artists, including photographers, although, as you might imagine, it's easier said than done. This photo is a good example. I love this evil eye, but reluctantly pulled it from my bark project because it definitely does not serve the greater purpose. All of the images in this project are about bark, its texture, color, shapes, and patterns. However, this image is all about the eye. Yes, the bark itself is interesting, but that's secondary. I felt rather attached to my evil eye and really didn't want to let it go from the project, yet ultimately, this is one darling that had to be killed.